Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be looking at a new microwave sensor from Lincoln Link, the eMotion Max. This builds on the success of the eMotion, which is still available and brings you 60 gigahertz microwave radar. So this sensor can actually detect you breathing, unlike other microwave sensors, plus four object motion tracking, taking this into a very elite group of two, along with the Akara FP2. So let's see what the Max brings to the table and can it compete with the best of the best? Currently, the eMotion Max is only available on pre-order via Kickstarter campaign. Links in the description. Shipping is scheduled to start in September. Options start at a very reasonable single unit for $34 US. Maxing out at five units for $127.90 US, with some options already sold out. So if you want one, you better get in quick. Now some of the features are going to be the same as the eMotion, as it borrows its form factor and styling. Link and Link have listened to their customers and now provide a new mounting option, allowing for easy placement and direction on a wall or desk. The Max is hubless, it works with Wi-Fi to provide convenient and super quick response as the eMotion. So what's the difference? Well, the microwave radar has been changed out from the 5 GHz of the eMotion to the 60 GHz of the eMotion Max. Only the Akara FP2 offers the same microwave frequency. The Max can detect up to 40 square meters of space, with a range of 7 meters in front of the Max and 2.5 meters to the sides, with a clean field of view of 60 degrees horizontal and 60 degrees vertical. Just remember not to place it close to any mains power cables or a home router to avoid for interference. The sensor can track up to four objects simultaneously from both position and speed, and it does this with millimeter accuracy. Although it is noted that tracking three objects provides better results. You can even exclude areas where traffic should not be detected. So if you have a potted plant that waves in the air conditioning, you can exclude it from the sensor. This ability is not only limited to two dimensions, but extends to three dimensions. As such, there is a height adjustment to sensitivity, so you can filter out pets and robot vacuums at a low height. Now that's a really smart home. It means I won't get false alerts when my vacuum is running. So now we have a true sensor that can detect you sleeping by the movement of your chest. Something claimed by others, but the reality is very different. With this accuracy, Link and Link are pushing the use of the Max for elderly care monitoring. When used in conjunction with the Link and Link app, you can set notifications and alarms based on no activity. This information can be pushed to the Link and Link cloud and by using AI to determine their health status and determine any unusual activity. And it does all of this while seamlessly offering integration into Home Assistant, Amazon Alexa, Google Home and SmartThings. Now I'll assume that you already have the Link and Link app installed, but if not, you can find the links to the apps for the Google Play Store and Apple Play Store in the description below. Open the Link and Link app. Press the plus add device button. Select add a new device. Select E-Series hub and sensors. Select human radar sensor. Now is the time to power on your eMotion Max. Now the LED on the side should start to flash red. If not, use the integrated reset tool Press the reset button for 5 seconds or until the red LED flashes. Navigate to your Wi-Fi settings on your phone. You'll see an entry beginning with Link and Link. Select this. Once connected, navigate back to your Link and Link application. Press Done. Now select your 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi from the drop-down and enter your Wi-Fi password. Press Connect Now. The device will go through the initialization process and register the device to the cloud services. Although if you're integrating this with Home Assistant through the Hacks integration, links in the pop-up above, then this will work locally. Once finished, it will ask you where the device is located. Select from the available locations or create your own. Press Next, name your device. Give your Max an appropriate name and press Save. Your eMotion Max is now connected and can be integrated into Home Assistant. Watch the video in the pop-up above for the eMotion setup that walks through the process. Now let's configure the device and leverage that 60 GHz microwave radar. From the home screen of the Link and Link app, select your eMotion Max. You will be presented of a status of if motion has been detected or not, plus a representation of where in the field of view the motion has occurred. 
This view can be toggled off and stop motion tracking by using the toggle switch. Then you get a timeline of when motion occurred. Note the warning that if detection was inaccurate, you may need to adjust the location of your max to obtain accurate results. You get a count of how many people are currently being tracked, to a maximum of four, but suggested to track three for more accuracy. Now you can set up your motion detection areas, simply by drawing your area on the preview screen, allocating an area color, setting a no person delay, and if you wish to notify if motion was detected in this area. Moving back a screen, you can set the cooldown period time, which is the time taken to change the status from no motion detected once motion has stopped. You can arm notifications, which allows the Lincoln Link app to send notifications to your phone. Remember that your phone may need to be configured to allow these to be displayed and where. You can set the interference zones, which will be the areas where movement should be ignored. This feature is currently not implemented. Remember, this is still a development and will launch in September, so it will become available at launch. There is a subjective sensitivity rating that you can set for low, medium and high. You'll need to adjust this for your specific environment to achieve the best results. And then a great new feature for setting the height of motion detection, so you detect people as opposed to pets or robot vacuums. And finally there is a view to active track, which like interference zones is still under development. So why would you pick up a Lincoln Link eMotion Max over its only current competitor in the 60GHz frequency range, the Akara FP2? Simple, cost and features. The Akara FP2 offers the same or less features and that sells for three times the price. And while on Kickstarter, you can buy five eMotion Maxes for the price of one FP2. Now that's value for money. Now you might have a specific user case that leans towards the FP2, but on paper at least, this is a no brainer. If features and cost are your main drivers, then the eMotion Max is the way to go. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then like, comment, share, and subscribe. Until the next one.